What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Nitty back in the building. Right now we at the Mall of Millennia. Had some errands to do, and I haven't been here in a while, you know what I'm saying? So I might as well do one last mall vlog before 2022 ends, man. So we about to pull up and see what's poppin'. There's two sneaker stores in the building. We got JD Sports, and we got House of Hoops, Foot Locker. You know what I mean? They're synonymous. They're the same thing. But anyways, man, let's go inside and see what's poppin', man. I see y'all in the building. Oh, it's a nice day out here, too really nice man it's like around 2 30 no sun weather's great actually we're gonna go in the house of hoops first so foot locker same thing let's go inside so what's popping we seen those in the outlet i wonder what you paid for so we in the house of hoops man this is the basketball section whole bunch of jason kids up tempos discounted 129 is the price got some air force one lows as well and some blazers and then you got some basketball shoes greek freaks and different flavors man different lifesaver flavors i like this colorway particularly runner up would be this joint i do like this ironically though all of them are 130 like see the price in there 130 except for this one this one is coming five dollars more i'm not sure why maybe that color is hard to make but there's a plethora of them here and then we got damn Kyrie, 100 100 man it was giving these shoes away in the outlet this is one of my favorite colorways of this particular model don't have it what i do have is this silhouette not in this color. These are the KDs. They're going for 150. I pay a lot cheaper. These are fire to me. And they got them in this funky color as well. I like. And lastly, what about these LeBron 20s? I like these. Not so much these Liverpool joints. LFC. They're going for 185. And then you got the 20s below it. No one really cares about those. And over here, we got the Zion 2s. Oh, we got the Zion 1s and the 2s. This is my favorite colorway of the 2s. Fire. And the 37s, I believe. No, 36. I guess these are 37s. I think. I think. Y'all can correct me in the comments, man. Uh, I want to get a visual. Yep, 37s. I am right. Sometimes. <laughs> of course, retros. The only thing I see in here are the Org 11s. Org wood 11s. That's pretty much it, guys. It's just a skinny. Oh, I forgot to show this colorway. Not mad at it, man. The price point? Not bad either. I think they're like 120. Before I get out of here, man, I'm going to show you guys some of the lifestyle shoes they have. Like these utility presto joints for 60 beans. I do like this. And also, man, you know what the kids are gravitating towards? Mellow, man. <laughs> they resonate with Mellow Ball so much. I guess because he's young as well. What, he's like 20 or 21 at this moment. And this is his shoes, man. Loud colors. They're different. So the kids are gravitating towards these. So I'm not mad at it, man. Uh, Puma did the thing with marketing for his shoes. Now, as far as solo, it's not the best first shoe solo I have ever seen. But they're moving. One of the best first soloists I've ever seen are these. The questions, man. Or you could even say it was the Shacks. But personally, questions for me. All right, so next up, we about to pull into JD Sports. Again, guys, this has been a good while since I've been to this mall, especially this store. So I don't know what to expect. Nice to see some retros. I got one particular one in mind. Limited time, save up to 50% off. Okay. The retros used to be right over here, and we do see these joints. These are the 37, 120s, the price. Outside of that, that's pretty much it. The rest is just basketball shoes. 90 beans for these. With a witness, yeah. Up tempo. You got some mids in the building. These are different. And also got the fanny pack, <laughs> Jordan 1s, R Pass. Oh, okay. They got the Canary 7s, y'all. Cardinal 7s, guys. I appreciate you correcting me in the comments, man. I appreciate you guys. Now, these joints are just hitting for 210 really? Damn, I did not know they was going for that much, bro. Below that, they got the Org Woods. We've seen these a million times, man. But I definitely want those. When did these come out, yo? I like. Definitely a women's shoe. I like that metal wings logo on the side of the shoe love the fur joint no animals was harmed in making in this shoe i get it retail is 180. i wonder if they come in standard sizes and if they did it probably sold out i'm sure they have i'm sure they did yeah it's right now i see these tees everywhere man and i do like them i like the wash look the age look i love the price but i don't like that white stitching oh that gotta go man i got a big shirt similar to one of these and that stitching which drives me crazy man that's why i don't rock it goosebumps Look at that white stitching, man. That's what kills it for me. Price is right, though. Price is right. What else we got for sale? It's good, man. It's good, bro. So I found these. Nike Dunk High. Christmas edition. Flat edition. Picnic table edition. But they're different, though. You know what? I'm not mad at it because the material, man. It's canvas on the toe box. Canvas on the lateral and medial side of the side panel. Actually, I would give this a pass. Not a hard pass, but a pass. Like, passing great. 125 is the price. Guys, take a look at these Under Armour shorts, bro. They're velour. Nice and soft. 
these are dope do remind me of uf colors but the quality on these are superb and they also got a t-shirt dope man <laughs> actually liking these i'm curious what the price is though they're actually 90 beans y'all almost a hundred dollars for these shorts but the quality is there y'all quality is most definitely there let's take a peek back these uh stephen curry's four-time nba champion mm, not so much these nah are these supposed to be those uh sour gummies yo <laughs> interesting goodness Woo. i was walking all around this mall guys that's pretty much it man it's probably a mini vlog went to two stores actually three two full two full vlogs though at foot locker and jd sports but under armor was like an in and out like takeout um that's pretty much it man oh did i show you guys what i got on feet take a look All right, y'all, so I'm back a whole day later. Oh, okay, look what they got in the in the window. All right, yo, so through the window, this is what we saw, man. The Air Jordan 2s, y'all. This is what I'm here for, man. See if I can grab a pair. They also got these 13s here as well. I don't remember seeing them here yesterday. And they got these uh, picnic blanket green joints, bro. Anyways. There's still a few available, but it looks like they're all small size. It's still size eight and a half smaller uh they do got gray schools rps guys i was able to get a pair yo my size size 12 air jordan twos last pickup of the day y'all in the apple store what about these y'all look at these dunks psych a lot these are the air jordan one black and white things guys these are fire man these supposed to be releasing next year. Depending when you're watching this video, it might be 2023 when you're watching this. How many guys going after these joints, man? Let me know in the comment section. But anyways. Here they go in hand. This is a 2014 pair. These released November 8th, 2014. And this is the Air Jordan High OG Black and White. Now the pair that's coming out next year in 2023, allegedly February. I, I, don't, I don't buy into the these dates gonna look at change immediately but allegedly these are coming out next year and it's gonna be in a high 85 air jordan high 85 you know how they kind of remake the shoe back to how it originally was back in 1985 when the shoes were released anyways these are not the panda dunks a lot of people was looking at my feet like yo those are dunks then they saw the nike ear on the tongue tag and it was like what when those came out way before you was collecting man have these in the collection rocked them a handful of times guys these are fire but anyways anyways let's talk about my pickup because these were not easy to pick up but they weren't hard as those those air jordan one uh lost and found chicago joints were crazy i don't believe the numbers i think they were limited in what people appear them to be are minimal quantity throughout all these stores um, but I was able to win mine off of sneakers and these I got mine from JD Sports. I went nowhere else So I'm thinking these were Saturated just like those But with more quantity and, and the reason why is because a lot of places have first come first serve Usually with high profile shoes or exclusive shoes They usually do raffles and these were not raffled. Here we go got mine from JD Sports And you guys know I did an early review look of these in-store pairs uh, before they drop, I think like three weeks prior to dropping, and now I finally have them in hand in the studio. And what I love about it is this card. I remember when I was reading up or looking up, it, well, no, technically, it was a sneaker live, and it was combing over a lot of shoes. They bought the designer of this particular shoe, and he was very detailed and persistent on getting everything right. He reached out to a few historians for Air Jordan 2s to get this postcard, because apparently they didn't have it in the archive. Nike did not have everything in the archive so they reached out to get this like pamphlet thing man so this is dope dope touch um to add to it now here we go now these air jordan 2's original release came with italian leather when they sourced the material for these shoes it came from overseas 
Uh, I'm assuming that these come from overseas as well, but you're not getting that premium cut and leather that you were back in the days, man. So if you're buying this because you assume you're gonna get the same quality, probably not. You're gonna get 2023 watered down, cut in costs, <laughs> lower goods of material, shoe. But nevertheless, man, it is part of Jordan history. Uh, he didn't really shoot that much because I think his second year he broke his leg. So he had to get a, a culmination of a hybrid of this shoe. It was like the one with, because there are some ones, I think they're called 1.2s with this outsole on the Air Jordan 1. But anyways, man, these shoes were short-lived. He did have them in low. He rocked them in low. When he did play the few games he played, and these are one of the most iconic Air Jordan 2s out there. I also have this shoe in the low. I'm not about to go and grab it. But take a look, man. Hopefully this is not washed out. Hopefully it's not blown out with the white. But Fire Shoe happy to have it in the collection. This shoe cost me $213 even, guys. Even. That was crazy, man. Happy to have it, guys. I will be rocking these A. Sap Rocky. Here's a quick comb over of the shoe. Air Jordan Wings logo on the tongue, not on the side panel you see in the Air Jordan 1s. Nike on the back heel, and you do have this outsole with a little indention both on the medial and lateral side of the shoe. It does come non-factory lace with black laces. Uh, I'm not sure if they give you a second pair of laces. Let's confirm. So on the right shoe, I do not see an extra set of laces, so you're only getting the black laces. But that doesn't mean you can't swap it out, right? Here's the outsole, red, white, and black. And that's pretty much it, man. That's all the goodies on this shoe, except for that pamphlet I showed you earlier. You do got this hang tag that is in cardboard and it says Nike Air on one side and Air Jordan on the other is the Wings logo, guys. And guys, that was pretty much my last pickup for 2022. I wanted those shoes in the collection as much as I wanted those probably one of these more but nevertheless i happy to have both chicago's of 2022 in the billion jordan one and jordan two and that's gonna wrap it up for my last pickup now stay tuned i gotta give you guys my top pickup for 2022 and also my top pickup from the outlet in 2022 all right those videos will be coming here shortly man but anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll see y'all in the next vid all right peace